Today I'd like to talk about how to stay on track when things seem to have fallen apart. So I've got five tips for you of how you can stay on track. Number one, I want you to think about your routine, your usual routine. Think about your meal times. Do you eat breakfast at seven? You have lunch at one, dinner at six, snack at 10.30 in the morning. Whatever your routine is for food, you need to keep that. And you need to keep it for you, you need to keep it for your partner, you need to keep that for your kids, okay? So if they have nutrition break at school at a particular time, you should try as best as possible, of course, to have that in place at home, okay? So the other thing with routine, I want you to think about getting up and going to bed. What time did you get up before all this stuff happened, okay? Um, or, and it doesn't matter whether we're talking about this COVID-19 that's happening, or let's say there's been some kind of change in your life, okay, that's disrupted your routine. I want you to think back to what was your usual, your normal um, way of doing things. So what time did you get up? Was it six o'clock? Then you need to get up at six o'clock, okay? And if you went to bed at 10 o'clock, then you go to bed at 10 o'clock and the kids went to bed at seven, kids go to bed at seven. So you need to maintain the routine, okay? It's really, really important, okay? The other thing for your routine, I want you to think about exercise. When did you exercise? And if you did not exercise, this is the perfect time to add it into your routine. So you need to think about what is the optimal time for you to get your exercise in. So for me, I don't like working out late in the afternoon and I definitely hate working out at night. I just don't do it. It doesn't get done if I leave it till the end of the day. So I am much better off scheduling it for first thing in the morning uh, when I get up and then it's done and I don't have to worry about it. So, you know, put that exercise in your schedule. Okay, it's really, really important. And it's important for your body, it's important for your mind, it keeps you feeling good, it keeps your body moving, and it helps with stress, okay? And, and you know, we can all deal with uh, reducing our stress, right? Uh, the other thing, as far as routine is concerned, I want you to think about your work schedule. So right now, you may be working from home, and your kids may be home or not, um, depending on where you are in your life journey. Um, but I want you to see if you can stick to a schedule as much as possible. So I have a client who, because of where she works, she does a lot of stuff online during the day. It's very overloaded. I have a couple clients like this. It's very low overloaded. The system is everyone's using it, right? So for her, for these workplaces, for both of them actually, they actually do a lot of their work after the most busy times. So they would um, go on to their uh, computers and go online and do their work in the evening. So like from seven till 10. And then they would do, you know, five in the morning or six in the morning till 10 or 11. So then they've got their work day hours in but it's not during peak times. So still, you know, you might have to modify your schedule a bit as far as times when it's happening, but try to stay with the same amount of hours that you're working, right? Don't, it's very easy to do way too much because you're at home, right? Or not do enough. So try to, you know, if you do a five or a six or seven hour day, try and spread that out through the day if you need to, or in off peak times, um, but try and get in your regular work hours, right? So then you won't be overloaded or you won't miss things, okay? The second thing, I know I said five and that was a lot of stuff, but it's all about routine, number one. Number two is about fa family planning and family time. So what do I mean by family planning? This is a perfect opportunity to have your partners, your spouses, your kids be part of the planning, Okay, because now we have to plan a little bit more, right? When do we go to the grocery store? What are we gonna buy? You know, what's available, what's not available? So, you know, have your, your kids and your family create the meal plan together. This is a great opportunity to, you know, get everybody involved in that. You know, cooking time. Get everybody involved in the cooking time. That becomes part of your schedule that, you know, if you have dinner at six o'clock, between five and six is when you're preparing dinner. 
okay and uh, this is something that you can get your kids involved in or maybe you can but it's a perfect time that let's say you are preparing the the meal or you and your partner are preparing it and your kids are in the kitchen with you or in the the eating area or where however your house is configured or your your home um, and they could be doing you know home reading or they could be doing one of their worksheets right so they can be doing things with you or they're coloring or they're doing a puzzle but they're doing it in the same room so you're together okay so that planning of the food and the meals and the grocery shopping and what we're gonna have for dinner next week and what are for our snacks do it together the second part of the planning is family time make sure that you plan family time together so whether it's a movie night once a week or it's a games night if that's you know what you did before I would try as best as possible to maintain that if it's not what you did before again fantastic opportunity to add that to your lifestyle right and spend more time together less time online more time with each other okay number three is to write it down and what I mean by that is journal okay how do you feel in the morning if something happens how do you feel about it if you're worried if you're happy write it down take some time throughout the beginning of at the beginning of your day is best and at the end of your day even for a couple of minutes to write down things you're grateful for good things that happened things that you want for tomorrow okay things that you know didn't go as well today that you hope will be better tomorrow and how you can do that people that you want to send love to people you know that you hope are doing well these are things you can write down and um, it's it's just a good way to get any of your feelings out if you're worried about anything it's a great way to kind of get rid of those worries write them down and leave them there okay so you don't have to carry them here or here right here here <laughs> got it, it I have, a, I have a big heart it's all, all around um, so write it down get a journal and write some of your thoughts down and it frees them up from here because I find if I have thoughts in my head I just keep them there and they keep recycling over and over again so if I write them down then I don't have to worry about them and if I need to come back to them or I want to review it's there I don't have to store them here it, it frees up some space for me number four is about moving your body okay and I did mention this in your routine and it's not just about exercise it's about getting up and going outside go in your backyard go for a walk walk up and down the stairs a few times you know do some shoulder rolls whatever you're sitting at home whether you're working or you're with your kids or you know you're sitting watching Netflix or whatever move your body your body needs to move we're designed to move so move it around as frequently as possible okay to get everything nice and lubricated and keep it moving right and then the last thing which I think is probably the hardest thing for most people is ask for help if you need help ask for help I know it's very difficult because we can't see each other right now because of you know the social social isolation that's happening but that doesn't mean you can't ask for help you know like if I need someone to pick up my groceries for me because I have kids at home and I'm a single parent then ask someone to pick up the groceries for you you transfer them the money right and they can just drop them off on your front porch it's very easy to coordinate these things right if you need help with you know ideas of what you can do with your kids send somebody a message post it on Facebook there is so many things that are available out there um, that you can um, ask for help all right if you don't know what you're doing that's okay just maybe somebody else can help you so I would encourage you to reach out and uh, ask for help I've been sending messages to people and just saying everything okay things are going okay do you need anything can I help you in any way and please reach out if you need it so sometimes just even even that is a good way to keep connected to people during this time okay um, and I think oh I would like to add number number six that I, I just give yourself a bit of a break that's number six nothing's perfect everything's kind of crazy right we don't it's a little bit uncertain right now but if you take the time and you really focus your energy on having structure on following your routine eating well you know the this will help you okay and it will give you some feeling of normalcy is that a word I it sounds weird to me anyway 
a feeling of things being normal in a time that's a little bit abnormal for us right now and it's a little bit uncertain okay so five tips and a bonus one so make sure you stick with a routine for everything make sure you plan things together as a family and some family time number three write it down in a journal so you can get rid of any problems or worries and write down all the great stuff because there are great things happening in our lives we we should be grateful we could be in a very worse predicament than than we are right um, number four, move your body. It's very important. Number five, ask for help. And the bonus one, give yourself a break. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're all doing the best that we can. And um, I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, please tag a friend that you think maybe could use this. Please share this um, in your social media and, and, and pass it along to people that it, it could help. I hope that that helps you. Have an amazing day and thank you so much.